Hi, welcome to the Mammoth Tech Show. I'm Jeff, and what you can see before you is an Amazon Fire TV stick that has seen more action than most. This little chap was literally found on the street. His box burst open, contents scattered everywhere, and the TV stick itself looking distinctly like it had been run over. As someone who's been known to save technology in distress in the past, this poor little fellow was brought to me to see if there's anything that could be done to save him. His HDMI plug was bent, and his casing was looking decidedly uh, remodelled. The first thing to do was to open it up and see how the internals were. Given the state of the case, this wasn't too difficult as half the job had been done already. And here we have it, the insides of the Amazon Fire TV stick. And no, I have no idea what that putty tack stuff is. If you do, please leave your ideas in the comments because uh, I'm stumped. So the main problem I had was that you couldn't push a micro USB plug in to provide power. Clearly the socket had become distorted. I had two options. I could use delicate and advanced electronic testing equipment to diagnose the problem, or I could just attack it with a large pair of pliers and see if I could squash the socket back into shape. I chose the latter option. And what do you know, it actually worked. I was able to plug a micro USB cable in. Yay! So I plugged the other end into a USB battery pack to provide the Fire TV stick with some power. I could tell that it was receiving power because it started making a faint buzzing noise. Not owning a Fire TV stick previously, I didn't know whether this was normal, but it didn't immediately burst into flames, so it couldn't be too bad. I unplugged the cable and prepared to do a test with the Fire TV stick actually plugged into a TV. Sadly, at this point, disaster struck. The micro USB socket parted company with the rest of the Fire TV stick, ending any chance of repair. Clearly it had become seriously weakened by the road traffic accident, and this had nothing to do with any other outside forces such as uh, pliers, for example. Oh well, no happy ending for this episode I'm afraid, but you can't win them all. However, we have solved the age-old question of can you fix a fire TV stick that's been run over? And the answer is no. Certainly not with a pair of pliers, at any rate. Oh.